Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we will create the, this facade, we will uh, create some balconies, but we still will use the curtain wall. How to create this type of the wall, I mean this is type of the uh, facade, I will show you now. Let's start it. And as you already understand, first thing we should create our uh, new project. So let's go to the architecture template and let's create the new one. And now I will uh, choose the wall under the architecture uh, tab and I will find here the curtain wall. So let's create some curtain wall and let's switch uh, to the 3D view. I will extend my curtain wall to, for example, like 19 meters or something like that. Uh, let's reduce the size like this and now I will divide to the panels. I will go to the edit and I will find here as you see can vertical grids I have none. I will change to the distance. I will do like 2000 and here I will create the, also the fi uh, fixed distance and I will change by 3000. Let's say ok. So here we are. We already uh, divided. And so what the next? Next we will go to the file and we will find the uh, new family and here you should define the curtain panel. So here we are curtain wall panel so let's open up it. So this is our the work plane now and we will work now with the our family here. And under create tab I will choose the extrusion so and here I will choose the rectangular sketch mode and let's create some sketch mode. So uh, we are draw now on the uh, reference plane so this is a uh, plan view. Let's create like this and I will connect all these lockers and now I can say ok. So let's go to 3D view I will close the all the windows what I no need like this. This is our project. Uh, let's go to 3D view and here we are. So I need few more parameters. Let's go to the reference and now I will create under the create the reference plane. So let's create the one more reference plane. And now I will use command align and I will align this line to that one and I will lock it. Now I will use command di. This is dimension. So let's use dimension like this and let's say this is will be extrusion like uh, uh, so this is um, let's say like floor extrusion and this is will be type parameter let's say okay so if you will go to the my settings I able to change it for example to the 2000 and it will change and after that I also should change my extrusion and it's under here right uh, just click on this uh, the small button here and create the new parameter like floor for extrusion let's write like this floor extrusion and uh, or I just can make like thickness so let's do the thickness this is will be better floor T okay okay so and as you see we already have the parameter this one and if I will go to 3d I am able to change it for example to 300 let's say and apply and as you see it's a bit bigger okay so we did uh, our first thing now we should create our rail so for that one I need to go again to the create parameter and I should make like two more the reference plane. Let's create one more reference plane and second one. Now I will use command dimension and again I should make dimension between that line and that line. Here I have the 150 this is cool the dimension and here I will make it 150 same. So and now if I will change my this overall dimension from 2000 to 1500 I will change this dimension too. So let's leave the this dimension it's okay. Now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create now 
wait i cannot extend because i need unlock it uh let's go to extrusion and now i will use the command cycle and i will create one of them here no let's better here i'll tell you now later on so let's uh select your the sketch i mean the your cycle and this dimension click on this dimension and after that create the new parameter and let's say this rail dimension and let's say okay like this and after that uh you just should apply but before we will apply that uh here again we have the extrusion we will leave like that and let's say okay let's go to 3d and as you see i cannot see anything but i will extrude just what i can see like this and it's everything now okay i think right uh let's think yeah everything okay so now i will copy it i will copy it by uh array so let's array it Mm, how many I need I think like this and let's make like 25 copy let's say okay and we will delete these copies and this one now I will select everything and I will ungroup it okay awesome so uh, the one thing more what I want to do I want to move it from this side to that one okay awesome now let's go to the exterior view again the create again the reference plane and let's create again the reference plane again use command di and now we need from that side to that side okay and again the new parameter so this is railing uh height and okay now i will use command align again and i will use the multiply alignment so from this one to that that okay so the same thing uh we need to do and the other side i mean the, the left side here just we will copy that one on the our reference plane so just let's make it the kind of same if you want you can measure it but let's say i don't have a time for that for measure it now okay so let's go to 3d view and i will show you what we get uh if uh, we will change now rating height let's change to 1400 it changed not normally uh let's go to the our exterior view and what's going what's going on here so i will do again command di and i will change it like this here i will give the parameter like that one and i will change it to 1400 and i will say okay and now everything clear as you see it changed so let's make the railing uh, for the ra railing we will use this line and I will call it like one okay let's go again to the reference plane create sweep and for the our path we'll use the sketch path and after that uh, I need use set our work plane so let's set it and I will choose the first one okay so let's create our work plane I mean at the our path and I will use the command align again to connect that line and here again align to that dot so uh, let's say okay and let's go to the left view and the sketch profile now we will use again the cycle and let's create something like that if you want you can create the parameters let's say okay and again let's say okay let's go to 3d view and let's say we want to change the height of our uh, rail let's change it like this and let's say okay and as you see uh the our rail is following so halfway already finished so actually the other things will be more easy 
let's go to the exterior view and again the create an extrusion so now we will create something like that one that one i will use the trim i will trim that side that side that side and that one so and again i will use the this line so just let me think like this now i need the offset so with my offset and uh po -po -po. let's say i will offset like 150 like this like this like this okay so now let's trim it mm -hmm. okay i'm drawing now i need one more line like this let's trim it again so i need one more line here and here i will change like uh, 0 to minus 250 and let's say okay so somewhere we aha uh -huh, here as you can see and let's say okay now let's go back to 3d and here something wrong i think let's change to 250 and everything okay so what we can do now we actually can uh, can make the glass we can make so many things actually i will back here and i'll change the some parameters for example that one i will connect to this reference line so it's always will be the same height uh, here what i'm gonna do i will connect to the corner of my uh, of my the panel and here i will also the connect and lock it and here i will do the same thing and let's try it to do here and here and also what i can do let's go inside to our sketch let's use command di and we will lock our dimensions xen one for change our dimensions let's block it here so our dimension has locked and let's say okay so guys uh, we are finished we should now load inside to our project let's load it up now we are inside our project let's go it's here uh, but before we will do i didn't didn't check the dimensions so let's check dimensions here it's like 3000 by 4000 and let's change dimensions here 3000 right by 4000 and let's apply yeah so now we can uh change the any panels for example let's change this panel uh as you see this is unpinned and let's choose our family as you see everything cool so uh i will show you the uh, more uh additional things before i will say this is finished and first, first thing let's say you want to rotate not rotate you want mirror it so i'm now as you see uh, uh using the space bar but i cannot just change the direction so i will show you how you can um, uh, do it able let's go to the, our reference plane again and under the create you will find the control and you will find here double double horizontal let's place it and let's load it our uh family inside again to the project let's go to 3d i will choose the my uh family and now i'm just uh, as you see using the space bar and i can change the direction of that family so the next thing what i want to create uh let's uh, i'll i'll create here the one more grid like this and i will change it again to this this grid i will change to three or four thousand three thousand yes three thousand oh sorry unlock and three thousand okay here i will change this panel to the this our family and as you see everything cool and here i will place for example uh, some generic wall like this so what i'm able to do i can change actually this is generic uh, wall for example 2000 thickness like this and let's make it like minus 600 yeah, oh, perfect and as you see we get something like what i want right 
So uh, we can delete this thing and we can place here the other window. Here we can place the another window and use the space bar. Now, as you see, we can easily create the really nice facade just using the uh, this is cool, the curtain wall. So let's reduce it. You can do it even like this. As you see, the it's uh, the dimensions. Uh, my window following this dimension. So let's change it to the three thousand because I did for three thousand. You can create more parametric. This is rail because if I now will use the four thousand, as you see, it's not parametric. It's going the wrong. But you can use. Just check my previous video with, uh, about the parametric, and you will able to do it. But for today, this is finished, and as you see, we can create a uh, really cool design of uh, our balcony facade without uh, any uh, plugins, uh, without any add-ons, even without any Dynama. So thank you guys for watching me. I hope it was helpful for you. Anyway, you saw some new techniques, and I hope you will use it in your project. So see you soon. And that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.